All right, guys. Um, so since we're busy not catching fish, figured we would do a uh, walkthrough of the new boat. Uh, here she is. So this is an Explore Boat Works X13, and the X13 has everything to do with, um, you know, basically the hull. It's it's the same boat as the X7. the The entire the entire top of the boat is exactly the same, but it's it's the dead rise. So it's a 13 degree dead rise, and it's a little steeper. And if you're crossing some of the bigger bays down here where I am in South Jersey, um, it's it's necessary. But I would tell you that this thing cuts through it like a like a hot knife through butter. Um, I was in some wind, probably about 15 to 18 mile an hour winds uh, on a big body of water, the Great Egg Harbor, and. We just zipped across it. We were, we were up on the pad and we were rolling. So, so what we got here is I got a Min Troll, uh, a Min Kota trolling motor on the front. I don't. It's a Tarova, and um, with the iPilot and all that good stuff. And I've got. Um, it's a 24 volt system, and I've got two Rely On batteries. I wanted to save some weight. Uh, we went with the casting platform right here. Um, and this front hatch, because they've they've redesigned the way that they're doing this with uh, the, the situation with the gas tank, and they put the gas tank um, in the floor. So the gas tank is in the floor down here. So you see your fuel here coming down, but the gas tank is in the floor. So it adds a good bit of, of ballast. But this is absolutely enormous. I, I'm. 510 about 158 pounds and i literally could get down in there no problem i could probably spoon with my son down in here i've got gear all the way up into the front nothing too heavy because i decided that i really needed to to pare down the gear but the storage in this thing is huge when they relocated the gas tank um i i'm carrying a third of what i used to carry and I have tons of room left. I could I could gear this thing up with another 200 pounds of gear, no problem. Um, and it would just be it would it would swallow it up. Uh, we went with the stiffy push pole. Um, I think this this rascal is probably 24 feet long or so. Uh, the boat itself is 18 feet nine, and she's about um, 88 inches across the widest point, which is right around here. You got these huge gunnels to walk down and it's just amazing so um, we went with the uh, the 115 mercury um, pro xs um, and it's a great engine i'm having a little problem probably because of user error um, the uh, the bucket holder here is a godsend you know for dock lines and stuff it's just absolutely amazing never comes out no matter no matter how bumpy the ride's getting it never comes out um, I have a sissy bar. I haven't used it yet because I haven't been up on the polling platform. I've had the kids up on the polling platform. You've got an eight foot uh, power pole blade over here and um, also the, uh, the push pole holder, which is over here. And this guy right here is for your, is for your anchor uh, and running light. Um, and that is battery powered and it's really easy to just snap it on. I'm standing on top of the middle hatch and the middle hatch is a live well. I don't fish with bait, but I got a live well mainly because I put a lot of wet crap down there, like bumpers, fenders, I should say. Um, and all the hatches are lit and they're extremely well illuminated. Over here on the port side hatch, very dry hatches. Um, I have all my fishing gear organized in my, my Plano boxes uh, for what we're fishing down here. And over here on the, uh, on the starboard side hatch, um, I have a ton of stuff in there, but I've also, that's the pump uh, for the power pole. And in here is just tools that I have organized in various waterproof Yeti uh, things. Stuff you need when you're out on the water uh, to make sure you can get the heck back in. Um, looking, looking forward, I love this center console. There's plenty of room to walk around. I've got room for eight rods. Um, on both sides, I'm on port and starboard, all spinning because I can't fly cast right now with my bad right arm. Um, I went with the Simrad 12 inch uh, unit and it has a three in one transducer, which is um, mounted off the stern. Um, 
We've got the Lanco trim tabs with the indicators. I like to know where the heck I am. The jack plate operation, instead of doing the, um, the blinker style, they got the jack plate up and down. And I went with an analog fuel gauge because what if you have an electronic problem? I need to know that I can get back. I've also got a Ritchie uh, compass down here. So in the event that I don't have any, any Simrad going on, I've got a way to get the hell home. Um, all the switches are nice and dry. USB over here, which I charge the phone the entire time I'm out. SIG plug here. All your switches and then your your um, your bat reset, reset breakers along here. So um, this baby is has been, this is the, the fourth trip that I've been out on. Um, and I'm getting more and more used to it. And it is an absolutely wonderful boat. It rides like a dream. Um, I had it up to about 45 miles an hour today, and I don't even know what I'm doing. So somebody like uh, like Preston and Frankie Marion uh, could probably get into this thing and probably push it into the low 50s pretty easily. It also came with a Yeti cooler on the front here, in front of the um, on the center console, uh, which is where all the drinks and the lunch and everything go. It's looking astern. Um, we also have this beautiful blue. I don't know if you can see it. got the striper blues blue that we did um, but um, it's a simple boat and it's 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 meant for fishing so this is not the kind of boat that um, that I would necessarily take my family out on for just the day cruising and you know hitting the sandbar or something like that but you very well could uh, she rides really really smoothly and for a, 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 a purpose-built boat she's smooth also another area of gear here this whole thing is just one big locker right so um the uh, it's it's separated into two uh the, the big one here has got all my z-man stuff in it with a gas strut strut on there i've got all my z-man soft plastics in there and then the other side there um, i keep all the stuff that i that i need to get access to all my paperwork for the boat um, in the event that, uh, in the event that, uh, somebody wants to pull me over and see if I've got my fishing licenses and all that. And, um, and also tools, you know, um, stuff like your, um, your, your pliers and your knives and things like that. Things that you're going to access a lot. Also my leader in line I have over here. If I have to retie a lot with when, when I'm out for the kids, wind knots are an inevitability. So, um, but it's separated out into two into two areas for access and it's really easy to get to um, underneath um, down here it's tight but everything's in there my batteries in there in there my cranking batteries in there the, the two rely on uh, trolling motor batteries um, the power pole charger the power pole charger is a godsend guys you, you got to do this um, one place where you plug in and you know just leave it overnight and those rely on batteries they'll get a full charge and your cranking battery is good but the whole time that you're riding along the thing is charging all of your batteries all at the same time i've never even gone past you know half um and, and i've and, I, and that's what we're using the batteries for hours trolling some of these some of these back creeks but this boat is absolutely a dream frankie and preston marion are two of the greatest guys you could possibly imagine working with um, it is a small company um, you are not a number uh, they are not a big production house um, they do beautiful beautiful boats one at a time you know one owner at a time and you know within reason pretty much anything that you could imagine on on a flat skiff uh, is is possible with these guys I'm extremely happy with my purchase and I couldn't be happy, happier with them. Uh, I don't think it'll be the last time I buy a boat from these guys. They're awesome guys. So um, two Finnegan thumbs way, way up uh, for, uh, you know, for the Explorer X13. Uh, one of these days, hopefully we'll get into some fish, but um, for the time being, I gotta tell you, I am so happy with my boat. It is a beast and uh, I'm just driving around in the back bays and the creeks and, and, and rivers and stuff like that back here. People are always, you know, honking at me and yelling at me and, and telling me, hey, that's a beautiful boat. And it is. So Frankie and Preston, awesome job. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for uh, for making a uh, an old Irish guy's dream, fishing dream come true. Maybe one of these days we'll be pulling some fish over these gunnels. Stay tuned. It's going to happen.